All right, good morning, guys. So we've got one of the legs put up. Uh, I'm gonna move it back another two inches just to give it a little bit more support. When it's sitting up in there, you know, we'll put a bunch of braces up. But I noticed in my last video, I didn't explain too much of what I was doing. Um, so we're going to kind of go through piece by piece of how we're going to build this tube. So we're going to take my electric Dremel right here with this bit. And we're going to clean this up so these guys fit nice and easy in there. And once we get those done, we'll clean the inside out so the shaft will fit. We'll just kind of go piece by piece. So well, let's get it done. It's a little dirty, a little messy with the shavings. And we'll get what we can done. All right, now that they fit, this little lip right here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to put a bevel edge on the inside. So when we weld in here, it penetrates more and holds these little guys a little better and a little straighter. So let's get the bevel put in. So, don't know if you can see it, but we've got it beveled on the inside and outside. So we'll get these little guys in there. We've got to clean these holes up, make them just a little bit bigger to run the shaft through. It just barely can fit. and smooth. And we'll put these we'll put these guys in here. Alright, like so. And then we're going to put the cylinder in and get it lined up. So 
I'll put the shaft in. I'm gonna put a spacer in. Spacer in. All right, so we're going to get this lined up so it's even. looking pretty good now we're going to tack weld it together so it doesn't move I want just a little bit of movement in here so we can get the cylinder in and out it's not too tight So during this whole process, I'm always making sure the shaft can spin and slide in and out. Because we don't want any binding. It's kind of a long process, but it works. going to put some more welds on it and still spin and move we'll get those done let it cool down because once it gets too hot the shaft will bind because the metal expands so it's a lengthy process spinning so we're gonna go ahead and do the inside
right, so we're still spinning. So everything's still moving. So we're going to let it cool down. It's going to be a little bit. For me anyway, for you guys, it'll be just a few seconds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean all these welds up. And I'm going to bevel these rings out a little bit more. So when they put them on, it sits flush there so we can weld the rings on. So, so we'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're back. We've got everything beveled. I've got the inner ones tack welded in. I've got the outer ones ground down and the rings to set. Set nice and flat. And then we'll I'll bevel a little bit more on this one on the outside so I have more penetration welding. Then we got that guy. And I know somebody's going to say, why didn't you go down and have it machined or milled or, well, I don't have a mill. So we're using our Dremel bits, you know, we're building an off-road wrecker, not a rocket to go to space. Okay, so if we were, then I'd be a little bit more precise to launch my big ass up into space. But we're not we're building a wrecker. So... I'll get these ground down real quick and we'll start welding them in place. Alright, so we have everything ground down. We're just going to clamp these guys into place. So I can tack everything together, then I'll weld it. I'm going to move you guys out of the way so I don't get any more splatter on my lens. And I got a couple right, right in there. me a magnetic base so I can stick it where I need it. All right. All right, so we got those done. They're gonna cool down a minute, and then uh, we'll weld the inside. Then weld it up. All right, guys. So I've got it all welded up. I've got it all cleaned up. Got a little bit more cleanup to do, but there she is inside. Pin still goes in and out. Later, I will add some grease cert fittings here so I can grease the pin. The hydraulic cylinder already has a grease cert on it. But now it's time to uh, build the upper piece. All right, guys, so we're back. Spent yesterday just making a bunch of plates, and I got the stiff legs tacked into place and trying to get my angles right for the feet um, now I just got to get some of these web plates tacked in place I got a couple more to go in here so we're getting it right, let's get everything tacked in and then we can start laying down some beads
All right, guys, now that I've got that all tacked together, we're going to weld some of these seams in here. It'll be a lot easier to do it now than when we weld these plates in. And we'll be trying to get up in there. And we're fighting the rain and the snow today. So, no big deal. When we get ready to weld this solid, I'll clean it all up and get the propane torch out here and get all this out of the way, get cleaned up so we don't get too much porosity in the weld. But that's what I got for now. All right, guys, I spent the last couple days cutting parts and trying to figure out the foot for the stiff legs. So this is kind of what I came up with. Have it all nice and braced on here. Have a bunch of braces on the back. Yes, I know, it may be a little overkill, but I don't want this thing to bend or break, so. And we've got the, the upper tubes in. I went and got some rings from Bend Rigging. So Aaron over there had some for me. And there's the other side. have a lot of welding to do I did get the back plate here so we'll be cutting that out here soon and getting that mounted up and go from there uh, we do have one more foot to build here's most of my pieces already cut out so we'll uh, video some of that um, there's some more of the ribs so yeah we'll get it all put together and uh, hopefully soon we'll have some hydraulics running and get the underlift on and we're getting close we're getting close but once the hydraulics are all hooked up and I get all the ribs and everything welded underneath then uh, Get some paint on it and hopefully start using this thing.
right, so those are the back ribs. So I gotta get this marked out. To put the leg on, which is fun. Fun part. I'm lifting it off of here. Alright guys, there are the feet and the legs, and I've got a lot of welding to do. So there she is guys, both feet and the legs. So I've got a lot of welding to do, and I'll do both of them at the same time, just keep bouncing back and forth so it doesn't warp or anything. And then uh, start working on some more of the back piece, and get in the braces underneath done. But for now guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying watching them. Uh, I will catch you guys later.